<laughs> All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have an exciting one in store for you. Uh, the TRX has been gone for about a week getting wrapped and it's the first time I'm doing this type of wrap on any vehicle that we had on the channel. So I'm really, really excited to see what it's gonna look like. I think you guys don't like it. Some of you probably won't, but whatever. Now, before we do that, look at our Gen 3 Raptor here. Look at this stuff here. Look at this here. See this here? The Expel has done its job here. Uh, we got some little marks right there. Hopefully you guys can see this on camera. It's mainly like right here. Because Wifey did indeed have a little fender bender in a parking lot um, with another vehicle. And it's a little scratched up here. Or like, not scratched, but see all this little stuff here now this truck is fully expelled it's got a ceramic coating as well and you know to get this stuff off technically I could just rip the expel off but I don't want to do that because I still want the truck to be protected so uh, before we go pick up the TRX and check out what it looks like in its new uh, suit we're gonna try to get this off this stuff had nothing to do with the fender bender, I actually don't know what the hell this is. Uh, it's like some, I don't know what the hell that is. And we have it here too. I thought this was a big, like, look at, oh. I thought this was uh, for Sydney, like, opening the, the door and smashing into something. And it's a big scratch, but it's not. I don't know what that is. But this is definitely from the little fender bender. So we got these minor little scratches. We're going to get some buffing compound and see if this just comes off. This is obviously the Expel here. I don't want to start messing with that, but it definitely did its job there because we don't have a scratch in the paint. It was the Expel that took the blunt force trauma. <laughs> so I thought the camera was on, but we got the first scratchy looking mark that was here with the rubbing compound. Now I'm gonna get this black spot here. So I got some rubbing compound on there. Get rid of this crap. The black mark is gone, although you can see a little mark in the expel there. But again, that's the expel doing its job. Well, black mark is gone. Perfect. Hopefully you can see that on camera. We're gonna get these marks as well. So the actual marks are gone, but although you can still see some stuff in the Expel, uh, again, the Expel's doing its job. And we just got this little white mark right there. All right, little flip floppy back and forth. It's actually the next day. Um, so check this out now. After, you know, using some detail spray and getting everything off, you do still see marks, but they're in the actual expel from the expel being a little damaged but moral of the story is this still needs to come off but moral of the story is that expel has done its job you see it here too so you can still see i mean most people probably won't even pay attention but i might just have this rewrapped eventually but expel did its job and i love it <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so we got to buy a new camera. Um, I thought it would fit underneath the AMG for that cool little uh, driving over shot, but it didn't. So it was definitely the mic that took, uh, that kind of messed everything up. See how good the iPhone lens is? I love it. It's just that audio on the iPhone sucks. Now I have the Sony uh, AX53, I think it's called. Um, it's a great camera as well. It doesn't have the wide angle lens of the A6400, I think it's called. But I used to use the exact same mic because it's a Sony. But the mic is, uh, oops, look at that, broken. Yeah, it just <laughs> completely fell off. 
since uh, I, since I don't have a wind protector, might as well just keep using the iPhone. <laughs> driven over well, 30 miles this car gets over 20 miles per gallon <laughs> this car has the best fuel economy out of <laughs> any vehicle that I have right now you know neither of the trucks obviously hit 20 miles per gallon I don't care how you baby them they just don't so you got 500 some horsepower and you still get over 20 miles per gallon I mean it's just great but even though gas prices are really high if you win this car you don't just get the car you also get five thousand dollars in cash that you can spend on fuel or whatever you like check out the website anything you pick up at autoblog.com automatically translates to entries to win this car but if you haven't entered yet do so but with that being said we're on our way to blackout tinning i'm extremely excited we're gonna do the wrap reveal on the trx so uh, i think i mentioned it earlier in the video i've never done this type of wrap or expel uh, so I, I am uh, a little nervous to see what it's going to look like because I haven't seen a TRX in person that has this type of wrap. I think TRXs look best in black and now I, I, I'm changing that a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, th th this is going to be very, very interesting to see. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys like it. I hope I like it. I think I will, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm getting like legit kind of nervous. What if I don't like it? You know, and this is a big thing that you do to a vehicle to, to wrap it. It's a lot of work. It's obviously not going to be Blackout's fault. I was the one who picked the actual wrap. But what if I don't like it? That's going to suck. <laughs> but yeah, we're about one mile out here. So, you know, I usually keep it like in the back see here if they have it out or not I usually have it sitting like right around the corner here when I come pick stuff up and it's, it's not out yet okay oh. <laughs> the suspense <sighs> oh look at that new E63 AMG nice and here it is no I'm kidding that's obviously not it but yeah <laughs> this type of wrap is definitely a you know not my thing it's a bit too much for me i mean it's cool for whoever got it and you know as long as they like it that's what matters but yeah this uh yeah okay <laughs> auto fox truck is stolen <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm here with uh the blackout tinning guys here and honestly uh i i, I thought it was inside but it's not it's sitting right up there and i didn't see it so let's go we still this... have it, so let's check it out <laughs> Oh man, all right, it, it looks cool from here. It looks pretty cool from here. I know you guys can only see that it, it's like black, but it's not the same black. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, I like it. Oh, I love it. Wow. Oh my God, dude, that's, that looks so sick. <laughs> So if you guys can't tell, we did Expel Stealth. And oh my, this looks factory. Holy crap, that looks so good. And you know what? I'm happy that we have the iPhone now because it's a better lens on this. It'll bring out this color a lot better. Dude, this thing looks sick. I was genuinely nervous that I wouldn't like this. Genuinely nervous. Oh my God. Oh, it looks great. Dude, I'm genuinely nervous that I wouldn't like it. Well, genuinely yeah. nervous that I wouldn't like it. But I love it. I think it looks absolutely awesome. That was all Aaron. He freaking killed it. My man. Thank you. My man. Blackout tinning, man. They're always hooking it up. All right, thank God that I love it. <laughs> Man, that looks great. The only thing that's missing that I try to get 
before we did the wrap so they could do it at the same time are some hood graphics and then also graphics for uh, the side here as well on each side but we haven't been able to get that yet but man I, I mean it looks absolutely sick what do you guys think I, I freaking love it we, we were just standing here talking about it because they're so big yeah and like there's so many body lines that just totally get hidden if it's gloss right those angles on the fenders and stuff it just looks so much better stuff oh man Oh, this is absolutely sick. Yeah, I love it. Hey, I drove over my camera, by the way. That's why I'm walking around with my iPhone. Oh, no. I did it right before coming here. I tried to get this, like, cool shot where I'm backing over the camera when I'm pulling out the AMG, and I ripped off the mic and just destroyed the whole camera. That sucks. I know. But what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, man. It looks good. I love it. So expel stealth. So, hey, Josh or Aaron, whoever. So expel stealth is just basically normal expel, but it's just like a, a stealthy Yes, and it's the, it. it's the same thickness as the other film. It still self heals like the gloss film does. Okay. It still protects from rock chips. So it's like the best of every world. You can change the appearance and get it protected. Oh, it looks amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. And together with the new wheels, it's just a black on black look. And man, I love it. I want to get like a Hellcat badge and have it on here. I know maybe some people think I'm corny for that, but it's my first Mopar. I want those badges. They're dope. Oof. All right, thank God. They also ceramic coated over top of the wrapping. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I did too for a second. Yep, so we got a ceramic coating. My favorite feature of all this stuff, really, when it comes to the long term of it and just the ease of washing it and keeping it looking as new as possible for as long as possible. So I'm trying to count here how many cars I've had with you guys over the years. It's been a few. We did the first one was the E60 M5. Yep. Uh, did the Ferrari. Yep. I did my first w204 c63 that was here too you got paint correction and some other stuff we did audi we did the pink raptor regular yeah regular f-150 as well and now this i think and then the other raptor the new raptor oh yeah and the other raptor no the t-rex yeah so eight right eight yeah. dang <laughs> holy crap that is awesome. That's why I go to these guys. I mean, they're the best in the business. They used to only be here in Latrobe, PA. They have a second location uh, in Gibsonia, PA as well. They have one now in Miami. So Josh is flying back and forth like every week. It's completely booming. And they're getting one in Nashville, Tennessee as well. So uh, it's not like you have to come here every time, even if you're like out of state or whatever. Florida, Tennessee, PA. And I'm sure you're going to open in freaking Long every away. state. Absolutely. You need to do like Scottsdale, Arizona or something. Yeah, there's a lot of good shops there. So there's Is some, it? Oh, some, okay. Some stiff competition. All right. Okay. 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 Well, we'll see. They're going to be all over the place. These guys are amazing. They have a YouTube channel as well. Their TikTok is booming. They're just fun guys in general. We try. So uh, go give them a follow. If you need any work done to one of your vehicles, I'll leave all the contact information in the description. Uh, yeah, they're the best in the business and I'm always a happy camper. I mean, if you walk up here, like their seams are just freaking perfect. I mean, everything just looks factory. It's amazing. And I'm just so happy that I like it. <laughs> it would have been so embarrassing. You guys put all this work in and I'm like, no, I don't like it. definitely needs and it's coming up because it's the next modification and that's an exhaust yeah i mean it sounds good but i mean there's no loudness whatsoever i mean what kind of tunnel room is that
Of course, it's starting to rain when I'm supposed to film here. Every time I do a wrap on a car and I pick it up, it starts raining. Every time. All right, so we waited the rain out a little bit. It's dry. What do you guys think of the wrap? I mean, I, I love it. I really do. And I was truly nervous that I wasn't going to like it, but, but I do. I mean, this should be a color option from Ram stock for the TRX. That's how good this looks. The only thing that's missing, though, uh, because they had to remove badging pretty much everywhere. The Ram badge is gone here. I'm, I'm not going to be replacing that, though. We'll put Hellcat badge on there. And then uh, on the tailgate as well, there's no TRX badge that used to sit right here. But we have a new one coming, so that'll be replaced ASAP. And then we'll do a Hellcat badge on uh, the front door here on this side as well. Uh, I think some people would probably like the clean look with like no badging except for the Ram badge on the tailgate. But uh, I, I like those badges. As long as it's not too much, uh, it's okay in my book. So we're, we're definitely replacing that along with I think I should do gloss black TRX uh, graphics here on uh, the fender. And then we're doing a hood graphic up here as well. And I think we'll go with gloss black there as well to keep the black on black theme. Um, and it, since it's going to be gloss, but it'll pop out a bit more. But yeah, that's going to be it. I am filming with my Sony AX53 currently that does not have uh, a wind protector as it broke <laughs> I was going through the footage with the iPhone I was editing and stuff I, I, I don't like it uh, the lens is good that like the picture is real clear or the video is real clear but the audio sucks and it's hard to uh, to vlog with you gotta flip it back and forth and stuff like that so I have bought a new vlogging camera that's coming on Saturday I had to order it they didn't have it uh, in stock. So the next video is going to be with a new camera. Hopefully uh, it'll work out well. But I think that's going to do it. Uh, new wrap for the Ram. Expel Stealth. Basically like a frozen satin black and it fits this truck so good. Black on black theme. I want it to look like a Batmobile truck. Something like that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. Enter the giveaway. We only have about two, three weeks left. So if you haven't entered yet, go ahead and do so. Secure your entries before it's too late for the AMG. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.